In this video I'm going to show you the easy way to change the oil in a Volkswagen Polo. The 1.4 petrol Polo uses about 3.5 litres of oil. Here I have some Castrol 5W30 and for what it's worth it has the Volkswagen specifications on the label. You're also going to need a new oil filter. This one from Mali and it's got some useful instructions in the side and tightened to about 20 newton meters. And depending on your oil filter, you're going to need a tool to get the old one off. You have this sort of strap style wrench. <coughs> I also have some uh, plier style oil filter removers. Um, but by far the easiest is to use one of these large socket style uh, oil filter removers or in the case of the one that's in there I need a 30mm socket. In fact the oil filler that's currently on the car is a 27mm socket. I also have a torque wrench which is uh, handy. A funnel is helpful and I got this paper one free with the oil and you'll need some rags of paper towel and also some gloves just to keep your hands clean. Now the star of the show is the vacuum fluid extractor. Use this to suck the oil out of the engine up through the dipstick tube. Now these are very versatile. I originally bought this for using on my boats because many inboard diesels don't actually have a drain plug in the sump. But I've also used it to empty toilet systems and with the right attachment you can even use it to bleed your brakes. The only problem I've had with two cars, one was the SL55, is that the sump was split into two parts. So going in through the dipstick tube, you couldn't actually get all the oil out of the sump. And the other was actually on the Polo. And the reason is on the Polo, the dipstick tube is very narrow. It's only about five millimeters in diameter. And the tubes that came with my fluid extractor were too large. Fortunately, I found uh, an online site where I could buy a four and a half millimeter tube that also handily fitted onto the the wider six millimeter tube on my extractor. So I'll show you that now. The oil extractor that you buy may have the right size small tube, but I'll leave a link in the description uh, to where I bought this four and a half millimeter tube, which um, fitted nicely into the uh, Polo Dipstick tube. So let's get underneath the bonnet and the on the 1.4 petrol the dipstick is this orange tube here we also have the oil filter is tucked behind the alternator near the exhaust manifold in here now it's better if the car uh, the engine is slightly warm when you change the oil because it just makes it thinner and uh, flows that a little bit easier and this is the filler tube you should uh, undo the filler uh, when you're sucking the oil out just because it lets air in and uh, helps the oil to flow more easily out of the sump pack some rags or paper towels underneath the oil filter to catch any drips when you undo the filter and this is why I like to use a torque wrench putting the filters back on because you often find that someone with the strength of Hercules has hand tightened these filters and it makes them really difficult to get off. Thread the tube from the oil extractor down through the dipstick hole until you feel it bottoming out on the sump. It should be quite noticeable. And then all you need to do is uh, connect up the hose and then give the oil extractor pump a few pumps to get the oil flowing uh, through the tubes. You should be able to see it in these clear plastic tubes coming up through the dipstick hole and going into the reservoir on the oil pump.
when you've used the pump a few times it's probably worth marking where the uh, the oil gets up to on the extractor pump so you know you've got all the oil out but you can often hear the pipe gurgling when it starts to draw air rather than oil up through the pipe. Once you've drained all the oil out of the sump you're ready to fit the uh, oil filter and the trick with the oil filters is that you need to just uh, lubricate the rubber o-ring at the base of the oil filter with some oil just to help it slip into place and then um, although the instructions on, the, on the, this oil filler are to hand tighten it to 20 newton meters, I find it's, if you've got a torque wrench, use your torque wrench just to get it up to 20, 25 newton meters and you'll be fine. With the oil filter back in place, you can start to uh, put some oil into the engine. The key here is just to do it slowly, make sure the oil gets into the sump and settles, and also regularly check the levels to make sure you don't overfill. What you're looking for is the oil just to be halfway up the indented section on the dipstick here. So keep adding the oil slowly and checking it. And once you're in the middle of the dipstick, then start up the car. And what you're looking to do here is just pass the oil through the oil galleries and fill up the oil filter. And also just look around the oil filter, check for leaks. Make sure um, there's, there, there's nothing coming out underneath the car. And then you can switch the engine off, let it settle, check the uh, oil level again and top it up as necessary. I now have about half a litre of oil left, which means I've put three and a half litres in, which is about right according to the manual. Don't be tempted to put more oil in than uh, the top of the dipstick mark because putting too much oil in your car can actually do some harm. So make sure you've got the oil cap refitted and we're going to go inside the car now and reset the service line. When I turn the ignition on you can see the service light is activated. So to clear that, turn the engine on while pressing the reset light and then click the button next to it. Switch the car off, and when I turn the ignition back on again, you'll see that the service light has been extinguished. My local recycling centre accepts used engine oil and filters, so I'm just going to pour the contents of the pump into a container to dispose of it safely. So that's all I have today. Um, keep an eye on your engine oil levels and look out for my other car maintenance videos. Thanks for watching.